Hey awesome ones, Heather here. So are you looking for some waterproof makeup? Now you might be even saying to yourself, no, I'm not going to go swimming, but waterproof makeup is a good thing to have. You know, in those hot summer days where it's really, really humid and your mascara starts melting and you've got the raccoon eyes. Well, those are the times where you wish you had some waterproof makeup. So I've tested a whole bunch of different kinds for you. I've got a few here and I got eyeshadows, mascara, foundation, and even a waterproof lipstick. So it all starts in just a few seconds. Oh, and by the way, important message flash, <laughs> big announcement flash. This coming Tuesday, which is May the 28th, we have a huge announcement to make. And please, please go to our to this channel for the big announcement because it's very important if you want to continue to see our videos. Now, even though I said, even if you don't go swimming, Go swimming! Oh, swimming is so amazing, especially on a really, really hot day. Just immersing yourself in the water and, and just, oh, it just feels so beautiful and you should go swimming and maybe you're saying, oh no, 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 I'm not going to be seen in a swimsuit. Well, you know what? Own what you own. Have that confidence and just enjoy yourself. And you know what? There are some amazing cover-ups for uh, over your swimsuit. Go check them out at the mall because you can find something that looks absolutely marvelous on you, darling. So you take care of buying yourself some really nice swimsuit. Maybe there's a really nice one-piece swimsuit or something along those lines and the cover-up. And I have taken care of finding in the makeup that won't wash off <laughs> as you're jumping in the pool. So uh, let's get to that, but I gotta take all my makeup off. So presto changeo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you're worried about wearing a swimsuit? I mean, I'm a former model and here I am with absolutely no makeup on. Hey, if I can do this, you can go swimming in the ocean or in that resort pool or maybe even that lake. Okay, so I'm going to show you two foundations. Um, this one is a thinner foundation, but I do have another one that is waterproof and uh, it has a thicker kind of matte foundation to it. But let's talk about this one first. Um, this is really a tinted sunscreen. So sunscreen, not sunscreen, anyway. And it goes on fairly thin but I need to have a concealer on. Like I gotta do something about these dark circles and these age spots and the whole work. So instead of going with a very thick concealer, like maybe one of those heavy matte ones that with a thinner foundation are gonna look like I got great big white things underneath my eyes, I'm going to use, um, this is from L'Oreal and it's just a little concealer. It's a true match. So you get your actual color that you want. And uh, I'm just gonna use a cream. Uh, the other thing about cream is it stays on a lot better than any other powder. And of course with my handy dandy um, concealer brush, I can just sort of put this on. So let's go ahead with, you know I got that purpley part in my eye here that we need covering up. Now again, this is going to be a very natural look, so don't put it on too thick. Just very, very lightly purpley part and of course those nasty age spots that I have but again we're covering them but we're not laying it on really really thick and over here we have the side oh no we got a big freckle here cover that baby up and over here as well and that's about it now it's time for the foundation 
Okay, so this is the light foundation and uh, it has an SPF of 60, so we gotta keep protecting ourselves with the sunscreen, but it also has splashability in the water <laughs> as a water protection for 80 minutes. So uh, I wouldn't be doing deep dives or anything like that, but that's gonna keep you um, pretty water resistant for that amount of time. Now, it's so thin, do not use a, a beauty blender. Um, or a sponge with this. Really, you just apply it with your um, your hand for your palette, basically, that's what I do, and blend it just with your hands. Or your fingers, not your hands. So you can see I'm getting some um, some color. It is covering. Notice how red my face is without makeup. Oh well. But you can see see the redness here and, and how this is yeah, it's it's doing its job. It's not super thick or anything, but put a little bit on here, cover up those spots, maybe a little bit blended into the concealer somewhat. Now I don't have a primer on and I don't really need a primer because um it's got the sunscreen protection in it, so you've got the sunscreen primer on with the product itself. So there we go. Okay, so it's thin. I am also going to show you for the rest of the makeup application a true foundation uh, that is waterproof and an awful lot thicker. So I took that uh, foundation off because I want to show you the second foundation that's on my list here. Now, if that foundation sounded a little bit familiar, it's because I did do a video on sunscreen makeup and I'm going to put the link up there. It is so important that we protect our skin and don't think that just the makeup on your skin is going to do that for you because it is not. So uh, yeah, that's a really interesting one. But this video is is different because I'm talking about a lot more waterproof products. And MAC, M-A-C, to the rescue for the long wear waterproof makeup. And uh, this is called, what is it called again? Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. So what I love about the MAC products also is that they have a super primer and this will work with their waterproof makeup. Now um, this is called Pret and Primer and it's an SPF 50. 50! So it really actually smells like a, a sunscreen, but we got to protect our skin. So what I'm going to do right now, just going to put a little bit of that on there. Um, it's kind of thick, but we're going to put that all over our face. Obviously for the rest of the body, I'm using a cheaper version because this is a little bit expensive of uh, probably a waterproof sunscreen. So especially if I'm going swimming and we just sort of put that on. Oh, I can smell it. It smells so well. It's nice, but it really does smell like sunscreen. And you'll notice my face going red <laughs> as I put this on. It's a heavy duty sunscreen. However, that's good because when I put on the makeup, and it is waterproof um, makeup, you will notice that it will cover, because it's more of a real makeup, um, it's going to cover a lot of this redness that I have. So. There we go. The rest of me has normal sunscreen and I'm ready for my close-up. So this makeup is a little bit thicker and I've put it on my hand here. Um, also, the makeup itself can be its own concealer. So we're just gonna put that on um, with a makeup brush. And my color on this is NC25. And you might think, well, that's really a dark color. But you know, in the summertime, I do get a little bit of sun and uh, my coloring changes from the summer from the summer to the winter, so I do want to have a little darker color. Now, the other thing about this um, makeup is that you can use your little blender or you can use a little sponge like this. Uh, it's not so thin as you can see that it's going to just suck up everything um, in the sponge. So, And also what I like about this is when I put it on, you can see how, how thick I can put that on and it's really covering up. Remember, this is waterproof too. So um, it's really covering up that redness that I had going on. 
and that's a good thing. So let me just keep on going here a little bit with this. Oh, almost forgot my age spots. Got to cover those up. That little spot over there. That big spot over there, I know them all off by heart. My little friendly little age spots, but uh, they'll get a good coverage with this makeup. Max really good makeup, I must state. I've been using it since I was modeling. I started modeling in the 70s, believe it or not, and then I was also modeling in the 80s, etc., etc. And uh, in the 80s, MAC makeup was really, really popular, and I still use it from then. Okay, so I'm going to cover up. And you can see that red spot there. I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but red spot, be gone. Wow. I hadn't tried out really their waterproof makeup. I thought it was, um, but it's really, really a nice coverage. Well, you know what, if I was going to a resort or um, maybe a fancy get together, maybe a wedding and we're all hanging around the pool in some destination wedding, um, yeah, I'd go for this because it's, it's rather lovely and it's not as thin as the first one that I put on. All right, for the eyeliner, I have chosen, this is like a mechanical pencil and it's by NYX. And it's, um, it's black, you could also use brown, or some people are saying to me, you know, why don't you use a gray? That's very interesting, a gray. But anywho, um, this one is black, and what you wanna do is a very fine line. And I know it's a waterproof by NYX, but there's a lot of different uh, beauty companies that have the waterproof eyeliner. They're pretty easy to find. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna put a thin line here. And I usually, you know, you kind of, you don't go just woof like that. You just kind of do it very gently. I don't want it drastic. I just want it there. And I want to do the swoosh because I, as I have aged, I've got now downturned hooded eyes. And if that's happening to you as well, I'm going to put a link to a video on how we can upturn our downturned eyes. So uh, I'll put the link up there for you. But all I'm going to do here is just a little swoosh again. You know, this isn't really going on that dark, is it? Oh, there we go. I guess it's just that I haven't used it for a while. All right, there we go. I'll do the other eye in just a second, but what we don't want to do is, at least I don't think so anyway, is the waterline and the underline. A lot of times if you're a little bit older and you do that, it's actually making you look harsh and a little bit older. And we want a natural look for this. Now, what about the eyeshadow? And to tell you the truth, I didn't really find a lot of good eyeshadows out there that were waterproof. So what I chose was Revlon Color Stay, and this is supposed to last a long time, but it's a cream um, eyeshadow. So, you know, if you put on the powder eyeshadow, it's just gonna wash right off. But this is Color Stay, and it has a little applicator Build right into the um, the container. Absolutely love this. And this color is 720 chocolate. So it's a very natural kind of look. And all I'm going to do, again, I keep on emphasizing that this should be very natural. I'm just going to put this on. I'll do a little bit of my hooded eye swoosh. And then I'm just going to blend it in with my fingers. Now, I'm not going to worry about putting some light here and some highlight up here. No, we just want a little bit of definition and that's about it. So uh, here I go with, I just usually actually go about the middle of the eye. I don't go right into the corner here. So we're just going to put this on like this. I'm using actually the side of it a little bit. And swoosh it out. And you're going, ah! That looks terrible, but we're gonna do some blending in just a second. And uh, remember how I said I wasn't gonna put much underneath my eyes? Well, I think I'll just put a little something, something, maybe just along here, not too much, just to give that eye a little bit of definition. So um, yeah, now we're just gonna go in and smooth it out with our fingers. 
Whoa, that is color stay. It's staying on there good. But when we're done here, and I get the rest of the makeup on, it's going to look absolutely lovely. I'm just going to take a little bit, let me just see here. I'm actually going to take a little bit off. I find it's a little bit dark, and you can do that. Might have had a little heavier of a hand there. And when I put the mascara on, it's going to look lovely, I promise. So it's mascara time, and I have used this mascara for many years right now. I absolutely love it. It's by Revlon, and it's Grow Luscious Plumping Mascara. <laughs> Some of the names they come up with, and uh, again, I'm using a black here. Um, it goes on quite nicely. You do have to use this special um, waterproof mascara remover. I'll get to that in just a few seconds, but... I have uh, worn this before. Now again, I wouldn't be doing deep dives in the water for hours and hours, but certainly for splashing around, it really, really held up and I really like it. It goes on pretty thick too. So there you go. I'm just going to finish doing the eyes and uh, I'll be back to you in a sec. Now for the makeup remover, this because it's waterproof, it stays on. I love the Estee Lauder Take It Away Total Makeup Remover. Um, I've been using this for years as well, and I really like it. It's kind of creamy. Um, also, uh, Neutrogena has makeup wipes out as well, and they take off waterproof makeup. So, either or. So when I say either or, I mean there are so many good uh, waterproof makeup removers out there. So if you have a favorite, go for it. Now you're probably looking at me and going, gee, she looks a little bit pale. Well, I don't have any blush on. Um, but what I'm going to suggest is that we're going to use a cream blush because obviously I can't use a powder blush. It's just going to wash off. And I didn't really find any good waterproof blushes. However, I did find this chubby stick it's called and it's from Clinique and it is actually um, for the cheeks and so what is the name of this again? It is um, chubby, whew, chubby Stick Cheek Color Bomb. I'm trying to say that 14 times fast or even twice fast and it's an amped up apple. So all we're going to do with this is I'm just going to put a little bit on my fingers and we're just going to put a little bit on my cheeks here just so I have a little and maybe up a bit just so I have a little bit of coloring so you can already see I've got a little bit of definition here now with my cheek cheekbones and uh, that's doing a lovely job and that's just going to stay it's kind of blending with that waterproof makeup now so it's going to stay on it really is I'll just do the other side and then I'll be right back now you notice I didn't get fancy with the darker brown contouring and highlighter and all that sort of thing on my on my makeup no this is a natural look we just got a nice little uh, rosiness of my cheeks and that's all we really need. Now as far as the eyebrows are concerned, we do want a little bit of definition in our eyebrows, don't we? So um, again, I'm keeping the natural look and I'm just using NYX. This is kind of a nice, it's called Blonde, and it's a nice little eyebrow pencil with the spoolie on the end here. So um, I'm just going to brush up my brows like that and see how I can do this here. And again, this is a cream, it's not a powder. I definitely would not suggest that you use a powder at all on your brows. It's going to wash off and that won't be good. But you can see I have a little bit of more definition there in the brow and I quite like it. And again, a lot of the beauty companies uh, do have uh, different kinds of eyebrow pencils. And if you're also looking for a pomade, this again is a cream. And this is by L'Oreal. It's Brow Stylish Frame and Set. And it is completely waterproof. So that's another idea to get. 
Oh, and if you have problems getting your eyebrows to look right, <laughs> I did a video uh, using stencils for your eyes, uh, for your eyebrows, and I'm going to put the link up there because these stencils are absolutely incredible. So, uh, yeah, and if you're kind of liking these videos and you're not a subscriber, why not hit the subscribe button below? And uh, we would love to have you as part of our community here. And uh, come on down. And don't forget to click on the bell because then you'll be notified when our videos are up. Now I haven't forgotten about the lips. I actually have waterproof lip products. So I'm gonna to get to that in just a second. Hey, and if you're wondering, well, where can I get all these waterproof products? Well, we have links to the exact same products that I'm using, or if we couldn't find the exact, we found really similar, and we put them in the, uh, the links just below the description here. And also, if you're from the USA, sorry, it's just from the USA, but Amazon has given us our own storefront. You pay exactly what Amazon charges normally. It's at amazon.com slash shop slash awesome over 50, and we got everything there. Like, we've got some of our favorite house things, we've got makeup, we got hair, fashion, all types of things. And uh, if you click on any of the links and you purchase something, we got to say a big thank you because you know what, it really helps us to keep buying these products and reviewing them and showing them to you. It really, really helps. And now for the lips. I actually found a waterproof product for the lips. It's a lip mousse and it's by Urban Decay and it's called Lo-Fi. And the color is Echo. 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 <laughs> All right, just Echo. Anyway, um, this is what it looks like. And it's got a handy dandy. See that thing that just stuck out there? I don't know if you could see that. That's a little applicator. Isn't that cool? So there's the lipstick there. And um, you just put it on here. And I'll just try to put it on my lips here. Now, the other thing about this, remember, it's it's really a long-lasting waterproof proof lipstick. So what it's going to do, even on those unwatery, swimming, splashing around days, this is probably going to stay on like crazy. So uh, it's going to be used for more than just swimming. And again, what I like about this Echo color is it's really quite natural, don't you think? I think it's really natural. Looks like my lips used to look like probably when I was a little kid. What happened to the color? Anyway, that's it. And the little container goes back in there. And now, now that I've got the little bit of color on my lips, I still want to do some uh, sunscreen on it. So I'm going to cover it with a lip balm here. And this is Vici. It's uh, SPF 30. We're going to find some other lip balms as well and put them below in the description for you. But you should always have this on with you. And as you can see, it's it's a, a, a clear color, but I put it over top of my other lipsticks and I'm going to do that right now. Just over top to protect it. And it also gives it kind of a nice little sheen as well. So now it's time for the cuteness factor, our little hurricane. Hey, hurricane, and hurricane likes to have fun in the sun too. <laughs> he also likes to give a million kisses. But truth be told, little hurricane, he doesn't like to swim. Uh, he does a pretty good dog paddle, but he doesn't like the water at all. So when Little Hurricane comes on the scene, it's my reminder to tell you about future videos. And we're going to do another major cosmetic company review on their makeup, just like we did with Burt's Bees and L'Oreal. And we also did the Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear Foundation. And I know you love that. So we're going to do another one of those reviews. Uh, we'll also do some fun in the sun fashion as well. And coming up on our Tuesday videos, we are going to London and Paris. Yes, I said it, and we are going to do that. So we're going to do videos on oh, the locations, the attractions, all kinds of things. So uh, that is coming up in the next few weeks. Super, super excited about that. And for all of you loyal viewers out there, you know who you are. 
You know, you're just helping us so much. You're encouraging us. You're inspiring us to do these like big videos as well. And, and I just got to say a big attitude of gratitude. Thank you so much to all of you. And, and thank you for mentioning in the comments, you know, that you enjoy tagging along with us in our little jaunts or you really, you know, this makeup really helped you to have confidence with your look or your makeup or your fashion or whatever it is. You know, when you do that, you really make our day. So until we meet again, have some fun in the sun and go swimming. Just remember, you're never too old to be youthful and keep it awesome.